Well, we want to show you one more of those northern light pictures because they're just so gorgeous. This one, uh, you could see the curl of the lights and they were dancing here in this photo. This was sent to us from the Stump Lake area up around Devil's Lake uh, from Virginia there. Again, so many great pictures from our website. You can check that out uh, on the website or just go to one of our apps, the VNL Weather app or the News app. You can access our gallery there and upload your own photos too. Now, earlier I was talking about how we're finally seeing some blue sky in Fargo. That's when we had the camera camera pointed westward. I've turned it to more to the north, northeast. There's downtown right there, right at the bottom center of your screen, and you can see there are more clouds right over the heart of the valley and over to the east. Uh, seeing some of that blue, though, peeking through right now, so gradually this is moving eastward, but it's taking its time. Here's a look at that on the right. Sadar, satellite and radar, my goodness, looking at rain uh, that is possible for some of us in Lakes Country. Fargo Moorhead seeing that satellite here showing that cloud deck that we were just looking at overhead. But if you were to travel west in I-94 over toward Castleton, you'd see that sunshine. And again, keeping an eye out for some of these little pop-up uh, showers that are moving through in the southern end of the valley here this afternoon. And then there is more over toward Ellendale. In general, we are looking on the drier side, northern valley to the northwest, a lot of sun sunshine going on there and this will migrate eastward and we'll see more and more of that sun for everybody here for today and we're warming up. We're looking at temperatures ranging from around 70 in the east in Bemidji to 80 in the Jamestown area back over to Aberdeen as well. Fargo Grand Forks 76 degrees currently wind is out of the south or southeast. We've got one gust to 20 miles per hour in Thief River Falls, Sisseton to uh, down in the south a gust to 24 miles per hour. So still a little bit of a breeze, but not as strong as yesterday. So we're getting to enjoy the warmth. We're getting more sunshine developing into the afternoon and the wind isn't as strong. A pretty nice day here, especially for September standards to be uh, this nice and warm. Now heading into the afternoon, three, four, five o'clock. This is when we expect to see our warmest temperatures of the day. We're looking at some mid 80s for a lot of places in eastern North Dakota. Those of us in Minnesota, slightly cooler, but still really nice here. We're talking about mid 70s to some low 80s as those clouds continue to depart around drive time tonight. Evening hours, it's a perfect night to get out and even just go for a walk, maybe step out onto your porch and relax a little bit or, uh, you know, do all those summertime activities that we won't get to uh, pretty soon here as we edge our way into fall and uh, beyond. Uh, good night for anything outdoors. Looking at temperatures by around 11 o'clock into the 60s, so starting to cool back at that point. And then tomorrow morning starting off in the 50s to some low 60s for your Wednesday morning. Wednesday is going to be the day of transition. So I want to show you that here in our rainfall potential graphic. So you go through much of the day. Wednesday, you see we're on the dry side. It's not until late Wednesday night. You're starting to see some color on the map indicating that rain is starting to accumulate and this carries on into the day Thursday all the way through Friday. This is around 10 o'clock Friday night. You can see there are going to be some areas that get a half inch to an inch of rain and then cumulatively. So we're adding more on top of that heading into Saturday. Another round that could produce some heavier rainfall. We're talking one to three inches, maybe even more in a couple of pockets possible Saturday, by the way, the fall equinox and it's going to feel more like it with temperatures right around 70 degrees on Saturday and some 60s ahead in the forecast as well. But all in all, September, this second part of September <laughs> really shaping up to be pretty nice. And you know, those yes. rainier days we're going to see, they're still welcome because it is pretty dry here in the valley. It definitely is. Yeah, nothing wrong with the 70s. You know, I think I preach that I'm a fan <laughs> of the 70s. So today is not your day. No, it's not. Okay. But well, all, all within the next week, basically later on this week, it will be. Exactly. Yeah, Lisa, thank you so much.